This is English for Grade 12. Produced by Tigray Education Bureau. Transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media. And also FM Makala 104.4. Hello students, welcome to grade 12 English radio lesson, presented by Kim Fitbarek Fissa. Students, what did we learn last time? Good, last time. We learned about make and let, passive infinitive, and the seven steps of writing essay. Students, did you do all the activities you had been given? Very good. Today, we are going to learn about punctuation marks. Students, what do we mean by punctuation marks? All right, punctuation marks are the marks such as full stops, commas, question marks, single quotation, double quotation, A to C in a piece of writing that make its meaning clear and separate it into sentences, clauses, A to C. A knowledge of the convention of punctuation is essential to clear and easy reading. Besides, punctuation markers separate, group, and qualify words and sentences, and they help to indicate pauses, intonations, and gestures used in speaking. The following part deals with the punctuation used in the English language. The full stop. Students, do you know the symbol and use of full stop? Great. We use the full stop at the end of a sentence. Examples. One, he came here yesterday. Full stop. Two, I was born in 1980. Full stop. We use a full stop at the end of a sentence which makes a statement or expresses a wish or a comment. Examples 1. Salam would like to be a doctor. Full stop. 2. Don't stay out late. Full stop. We use the full stop after most abbreviations, like MR, full stop, Mr. DR, full stop, doctor. PH, Full stop D, Doctor of Philosophy. AX, full stop, exercise. And others, mind the students. In general, abbreviations of governmental and international agencies don't take a full stop, like WHO, NATO, UNESCO, UN, and others. Students, let's now proceed to the next punctuation mark, which is 
the question mark. All right. Do you know the symbol and use of question mark? Very good. The question mark is used after an interrogative sentence that is direct question. Examples. 1. What's your name? 2. Where were you? 3. Do you remember the time? 4. What is your view of this radio lesson? And the third punctuation mark we are going to learn now is the exclamation mark. Students, I hope you are familiar with the exclamation mark, right? Good. The exclamation mark is issued after expression of surprise or after a word, phrase, or sentence to signal strong exclamatory feeling. Examples 1. What a lovely girl. 2. What a stupid boy. 3. Congratulations. 4. Hi there. 5. Well done. Students, have you got the idea? Very good. Now let's pass to the next punctuation mark. Have you ever been taught about the symbol and use of comma? Good. Yes, comma is used to separate appositives and non-defining clauses from the noun or pronoun they identify. Examples. 1. I came to see Mr. Haggis, comma, the radio sound editor, full stop. 2. Murut Ifter, comma, our leading athlete had won so many medals, full stop. Comma is used in lists of nouns, adjectives, clauses, and phrases. Examples. 1. In my pocket, I found a pen, comma, paper, comma, money, comma, a notebook, and so many coins, full stop. 2. I entered the classroom, comma, walked to the platform, comma, told my students to sit down, and began teaching. Full stop. Comma is used to separate an adverbial clause from the main clause. Examples 1. Although the exam was very difficult, comma, many of us passed with good results. Full stop. 2. If I know the answer, comma, I will tell you. Full stop. Comma is used to point a contrast, to give emphasis, and to set of short interrogative elements. Examples. 1. She was beautiful, comma, but devoid of personality. Full stop. 2. Her name is Elham, comma, Nat Najat. Full stop. 3. She loves him. Comma. Doesn't she? Question mark. Comma is used before question tags and after yes or no answers. Examples. 1. He is a teacher. Comma. Isn't he? 
question mark yes comma he is full stop two she is not your classmate comma is she question mark no comma she is not full stop three are you going tomorrow question mark yes comma i am full stop comma is used in dates example i was born on monday comma 21st june comma 1980 full stop comma is used in reported speech one at the end of the speech when the reporting word follows example double quotation i will see you at school comma double quotation he said full stop two after the reporting word when the direct speech follows example he said comma double quotation i will see you at school full stop double quotation students this is all about the use of comma are you all clear super Let's again have a look at the semicolon. Students, do you use semicolon when you write sentences? Very good. Semicolon is used to separate two main clauses which are closely to each other. Examples. 1. Don't forget your overcoat. Semicolon, it might rain. Full stop. Two, your wife is a sharp minded woman. Semicolon, mine is a dull one. Full stop. Semicolon is easier to keep the balance of contrasting expressions. Examples. One, everybody fears old age. Semicolon, Yet very few attain it. Full stop. 2. It is a weakness to love. Semicolon. It is again another weakness to try to cure it. Full stop. The next punctuation mark is the colon. As you know, colon is used to indicate that a formal series is to follow. Example. I have three hobbies I like most. Colon, sport, comma, photography, comma, and touring. Full stop. Colon is used in formal letters. Examples. One, dear Mr. Kiddus. Colon. Two, dear committee. Colon. 3. Dear Sir, Colin. Colin is also used in time expressions when written numerically. Examples 1. You can pay me a visit at 11.30 a.m. 2. We always begin morning classes at 8 a.m. The next lesson to be discussed right here is the double quotation marks. Students, I am sure you are familiar with the double quotations with reported speech, right? Good. These are used to quote the actual words of a speaker. Normally, there are three possible positions for the verb say or said. Listen to the phrase she said in the following quotations. 1. She said, comma, double quotation, you can beat me if that is what you want. 
full stop double quotation or double quotation you can beat me if that is what you want comma double quotation she said full stop here the s in she said is a small letter or double quotation you can beat me comma double quotation she said comma double quotation if that is what you want full stop double quotation The last punctuation mark we are going to learn today again is the single quotation marks. Single quotation marks are used to enclose titles of short stories, poems, songs, and books. Examples 1. Have you ever read Robert Front's Fire and Eyes? Fire and ice is enclosed by single quotation and question mark is outside. 2. Our teacher told us to memorize leisure. Leisure is enclosed by single quotation and full stop is outside. Remember students. The titles of books can be either enclosed in quotation marks or underlined. Single quotations are used to enclose quotations within quotations. Example 1. The teacher asked, comma, double quotation, who said, comma, single quotation, we will not clean the rooms anymore. Single quotation, question mark, and double quotation. Single quotations are used to indicate a foreign word used in English. Example Ethiopians eat injora and what? Injora and what are enclosed by single quotation and full stop outside. Punctuation with punctuation marks. 1. The full stop and the comma are put inside quotation marks. Example 1. Double quotation. I will come back, comma, double quotation. She said, comma, double quotation when you need me. Full stop, double quotation. 2. When the quoted speech is a question, the question mark is put inside the quotation. Examples 1. Double quotation. Where is my book? Question mark. Double quotation. Ask it, Gurmai. Full stop. 2. Double quotation. Did anyone say, comma, Single quotation, I don't know the answer. Single quotation, question mark, double quotation, the teacher asked the class, full stop. The colon and the semicolon are placed outside the quotation marks. Example, one, double quotation, there are only few people, the world needs most, comma, Double quotation, he said, semicolon, double quotation, I am one of them, full stop, double quotation. Students, have you understood with all the punctuation marks we have discussed? Great. Today, we have learned about the punctuation marks like full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, double quotation, and single quotations. 
please students read all the all again and other punctuation marks such as apostrophe hyphen dash ellipses and others using reference books like general basic english essential english and many others with your brothers sisters and parents at home students i hope our discussion has been very productive this is all that we have for today for next week we will be learning unit 10 quantifiers like some any no none both either and neither on page 223 of your grade 12 english textbook thank you students join us again next week goodbye everyone